Expedite, the pre-workout is designed to really help you get through those moments where you feel a little fatigued. Sometimes your body does get a little tired, you know, it gets a little sore. But this kind of stuff picks you right back up. Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here in Las Vegas with Teddy Atlas, whose fighter is set to have a unification fight with Arthur Beterbiev coming up on ESPN. I'm really excited for this fight because I know Beterbiev can hit, your guy can box and hit as well. What do you make overall of the style matchup of your man against Beterbiev? It's the kind of style that usually makes good fights. It's a kind of a traditional, I, I think this is probably fair to say, uh, through history of boxing, traditionally, you got a boxer with a guy that comes forward and, you know, is relentless like Better BF is, you get Ali Frazier. I mean, that's that's what people think of when I think they describe the Ali Frazier fights because, of course, the names are so well known, so you jump and you use those names. But it could be in lightweights, it could be in light heavyweights. It could be when, when you get a guy who's bringing it against a guy who uh, knows how to box, uh, those styles usually wind up making the kind of fight you would hope that you would get when you're making a title unification fight, you know, that it would live up to the billing of something really good for the fans. When you break this fight down and you go into camp and you start making your notes on Better Be of, how do you deconstruct them? I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you can tell me. I know I didn't. You can give me a brief synopsis. What, what sticks out? I know I dropped out of high school, but I, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not quite that dumb. I, I, I think I, you know, I think my mother raised and my father someone a little smarter than that. <laughs> I'm going to deconstruct the guy that we're fighting on television so everybody could see it. Um, listen, at the end of the day, you got to execute, right? No matter what, what it is, you got to execute. Um, obviously, we're not... You gotta, you gotta train coming. You're not gonna stand right in front of it, right? I mean, I don't think you need Teddy Atlas to tell you that, you know. And this guy can be a train. And uh, but I have seen trains derailed. I like to see that with nobody getting hurt, no passengers on board, you know, and maybe derail the train a little bit, and not allow it to have the path that it figures to want to have. But um. And, you know, everybody understands the aggressive part. I mean, it's, it's not hard to, you know, target that, to, to identify that. The guy is aggressive, and the guy is strong, and the guy is physical, and the guy is tough, and the guy was a tremendous amateur, and the guy punches really good with the right hand, and, you know, all of that. But uh, I've heard there's ways to counter aggression. Some birdie told me that one day some years ago and um we're, we're gonna we're gonna try to be the best what we need to be just like he's gonna be what he needs to be you know and um sometimes it's for a difficult fight like this for both guys but i'm just talking about my guy it comes a time when it's the right time for it it's not always the right time for it I think it's the right time for it. I think it's the right time for it. And the good news about fighting someone who's as difficult uh, as Better Be If, we know how difficult he is. We know what we're facing. I promise you we're not gonna get in the ring and you're gonna see shock and awe on our faces. We didn't realize. No, we realize. And now it's our job to do what we need to do. Is he a bigger puncher than Stevenson, you feel? No. Nobody's a bigger puncher than Stevenson. God bless Stevenson. Hope he continues to get better. Mm. Prayers to him, to all you good boxing fans. I'm sure that you would agree. We should take a minute and say a prayer for a guy like that who had a reign of five and a half years and had so many entertaining fights that a lot of you guys enjoyed uh, and was always a champion in that ring. We, we continue to say prayers for him. Uh, Deontay Wilder is the only guy who you could say for one punch might punch harder than Stevenson. Nobody punched harder than Stevenson for one punch. And Stevenson had a better delivery system than Wilder to get it to you. But this guy punches, uh, and Stevenson was a southpaw. 
This guy's the opposite. He's orthodox, but his power is with the right, you know, for the most part. And yeah, he punches. Put it this way, I, I don't, I, I don't want to do the test where you say hit me on this side of the chin, hit me. Let's see who's harder, who hits harder. I'd rather not do that test. I'd rather try to avoid both of them and be able to not give you an answer at the end of October 18th and say, no idea. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's the answer I would hope I could give you. But he punches damn hard, better be. How is? Vozdek mentally since the situation that happened with Adonis, how have you seen him? He's a, he's a good human being. That's why I'm training him. I'm blessed to be, you know, we make our own choices in life, who you want to be around. And um, I made a lot of the, the choice I made about coming out back to this business to train him uh, because of the person that he is. And I'm blessed that way. I'm fortunate that way. He's that kind of person. So having said that, you could imagine that it's had impact because he's a good human being. He cares about people, you know. He's got a beautiful family. He's got three children and a beautiful wife. So um, human life means something. It should mean something to all of us. But, uh, and hopefully it does. But I know it means something to him. And obviously he... Uh, he had those feelings that you would have when, you know, you're not doing anything purposely. You're just doing your job, but a terrible, unfortunate thing happened. And, uh, but I know he's, I know he's, uh, he was definitely impacted when it happened. And he's very grateful that he's making a recovery. Uh, just very grateful that he's making a recovery. And that we, we got to see some video of him, you know, talking to people and everything and coming back. How was that conversation like with you and him? Uh, which conversation? With you and Vozdek about everything that happened that night and the day after. Well, we didn't know that night. You know, it didn't hit us to the next morning because that night they told us that, you know, that he, he left the arena, they took him out, we saw, we were worried, we were concern saying our press and uh but then then they we were told that you know he was he got all he was okay uh, and then we were told later that he got in the shower and he collapsed and but we didn't know that we didn't know that to the next morning and when we heard it oh you could imagine we 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 just wanted to say prayers that he would recover and uh, I think a lot of people said press, and they worked. They worked. He recovered. Very true, and uh, hopefully he continues to recover and, and get back on his feet uh, at 100%, uh, you know, to what he was before.